We have heard from one president and then the other. We have Putin declaring in St. Petersburg that Russia is stepping up production of weapons and that victory for this war is inevitable for Russia. The same day, we have Zelensky declaring in an address to the World Economic Forum in Davos through video link that Ukraine is looking for more and more ammunition. Certainly, Russia is stepping up production of arms. There are several indications of that. At the same time, we have more and more heavy weaponry being pledged and supplied to Ukraine. Take the two together. And who's to say when this war will end and where it will end? It's all now pointing to a second year of war that could well prove more devastating than the first. For Zelensky, it's now a race against time. He has said that it's a time crisis, that while the free world is sinking, the terrorist state is killing, he says supply of air defense systems must come before the next missile attack. The delivery of Western tanks must outpace another invasion by Russian tanks. Britain, Poland and France have certainly pledged uh, tanks and heavy armor in recent days, but for Ukraine, this is too little, too slow. Whether the free world, as Zelensky calls it, is listening will be put to the test at a meeting of the contact group for supplying weapons to Ukraine on Friday of this week. The US and Germany particularly are under pressure to send tanks and more heavy weapons to Ukraine. And as Zelensky keeps saying, to do this fast.